A wiregrass homeowner facing a flood problem after heavy rain poured into the wiregrass. A Slocum man who has battled flooding for over a year now says not only is it a threat to his property, but it's becoming a dangerous threat for his well-being. And when it comes to who's to blame, there's more questions than answers. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story on New at 6. Well, right now, I'm not able to do nothing but just look at it. Albert Dismuse has been looking at the eyesore of storm water that typically backs up and floods some of his property after heavy periods of rain like the last severe weather event. He claims the standing flood water that's usually backed up for weeks to even months is now posing a dangerous threat. All this water that's building up on me, I got a couple of gators that run around out there in it now, and I'm afraid, you know, they'll get some of my livestock because my livestock are one out there in the water sometimes. This mute says it's been a problem for at least a year now, and he doesn't want a bigger problem with sites of snakes and gators in the swampy water. Snakes will come out that water onto the land, and if the kids out here are playing, they don't realize what it is, they be done got bit. He believes the underground drainage pipes are too small for water to flow through, along with dirt causing it to stop up. He says the county tried to do something about the issue last week. Last Tuesday, we dug a hole on each end of the pipe and did not stop the pipe, so that, that didn't accomplish nothing. But all I'm asking is just for a bigger pipe and be done with this problem. The county claims the problem is not theirs and that the issue is a civil matter between two property owners. They say water is running down from the property owner behind Dismukes, but Dismukes finds it hard to believe as he says the land behind him is flat. It's not coming from the north down, it's going, it's building from the dirt road back to the back side of my land. County officials say they have spent hours with Dismukes at commission meetings and provided him with maps showing how it has been a flooded area for at least 30 years. They say he has told them he has not had conversations or taken any action with adjacent property owners about the issue. Dismukes says he didn't think it would be a complicated task to get this fixed, but if it continues and worsens, he will take another avenue. Well, I just had to dig it up myself. I got to do something to solve the problem. And Slocum, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.